So here we are entering the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. I have never been on this portion of the parkway. I grew up in Lynchburg, Virginia, and I've certainly traveled all the parkway through Virginia. So uh, it should be pretty, get some good shots and whatnot. I did want to tell you about last night. <laughs> anyway, that couple down there that had the fire that was smoking the whole campground, uh, you know, that, that storm was a doozy. It came through and uh, I was laughing because, uh, you know, he, he had the, and I, I can't say the big lady. I mean, this was a beefy woman, man. And, uh, they, uh, they decided they were, they packed up right there on the spot right when the storm ended and, and left and probably, I guess, looked for a hotel room somewhere. I, I've been there and done that with my, uh, my wife. So anyway, I, of course the, the joke was on me. Um, you know, my tent, I, I treated it. I seam sealed it. The only thing I didn't do, remember I wanted to do that trial run with the tent and I never did. And, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame that I never got that done because, man, oh man, my tent was just full of water. It's time for that tent to go. I mean, it is 20 years old. I think maybe just having it out in a hot garage in Florida just did it in. You know, I, all that work, I mean, I spent a week working on that tent. So that, Cause I mean, that's one of the things about camping is, you know, being able to survive the elements and, and, and enjoy, enjoy yourself regardless. But I had to sleep in the car. My sleeping bag was soaking wet. My, the mats were soaking wet. I am just wiped out. I, you know, I'm gonna have to pull over quite a few times on on the parkway because uh, well, I didn't get far, but, it'll be but fun. I had to we'll stop get here. They say highest elevation on the Blue Ridge Parkway, 6,033 feet. I don't know. I'll show you the. I don't think the the view here is as good as it was on the other. Overlook, but Let's man, I thought this looked cool. Here we are at the Thunder Struck Ridge. By the way, when I say sleep in the car, it's called squirm in the car all night long and, and maybe get five minutes of sleep. So anyway, here's the uh, view. I love those clouds just kind of hanging over. I just, uh, you don't see that. I mean, that's just so cool, isn't it? But uh, that's why we're traveling the parkway. If I see anything else that, you know, really looks cool, we'll, We'll pull over and uh, get that on video too. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm heading towards Asheville, which is 72 miles. Man, 72 miles of driving on the parkway when you're tired. That's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna have to pull over quite often. All right. All right, we're at a bit higher elevation. Lots of motorcycles up here today. They're enjoying the park, but I thought you'd get a little, a little bit higher elevation here. And uh, boy, pretty amazing. Anyway. I'd, don't want to let my experience uh, dissuade you guys from camping or anything, you know. If I'd had a dry tent, it would have been the best night of sleep I'd had on this trip. Because the temperature got down to 60 degrees last night, and boy, a color seat up in a no, sleeping bag, here. it would have been awesome. Not just for the overlook, but to just kind of show you what the scenery along the road looks like, you know, with these rocks. You know, years ago, once again, 50s, 40s. The golden era when we actually did things for the American people rather than line politicians' pockets. You know, this is this is the stuff that was created in that generation. Just beautiful. Get up to the top there. And then of course if you swing around, you got a wall here. Let's see, this is called Wolf Mountain Overlook. And uh, we're at an elevation of uh, 5,500 feet. Let's get up over the wall. You know, once again, pretty good view. Um, it's just going off in the distance. Look, look at that little cutout area right there. Let's see if I got it. Isn't that weird? I wonder what that is. You know, why is that area just cut out like that? But, uh, it's anyway. always fun to stop and just read these. On. I love that, you know, when they put these in parks and you can just sit and you know, learn about things. That uh, here's kind of the view from here. Nothing. I mean, it is beautiful, but not as not as cool as that other one. And now that I, I've done the zoom, let's zoom in. Oh, there we go. So you're kind of looking off in the distance there. Anyway, I can't help stopping at all of these overlooks. I've never seen views like. I mean, Virginia. I've driven all the parkway through there, and there's some beautiful views, but this. 
this is North Carolina. Man, I'm telling you, they got they got the overlooks here. I mean, this is just outstanding. Well, here comes the motorcycles again. But uh, anyway, when when I talked about driving by the moonlight, I meant with the headlights off. <laughs> That's how stupid we were. I mean, all you'd have to do is take one little wrong turn and you're over the cliff. Let's see if we can zoom that in there. Now we're looking off into the distance. Gosh, I gotta make some time. I'm stopping everywhere, but you know, I see these and I just like, okay, maybe, you know, there won't be another one that come along, but they sure are coming along fast and furious. So I try not to move the phone too fast. Anyway, I guess you've seen enough now. Say hi. We're all going to be on. Yeah, 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 you guys. These are motorcycles right here. Harley Davidson. Wow. Look all at right. that view. Yeah, don't fall. Oh, I... these, these are his friends. Hi. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. So that was Thank pretty you. cool back there. Uh, you know, those were uh, three middle aged ladies riding Harley Davidson's. You know, once again, you can't judge a book by its cover. I mean, I would have, if I'd seen them w without the bikes, I would have never thought they'd be, you know, bike riders up here on the parkway, you know, riding around. But uh, that's really cool. Anyway, I pulled over here, just to, saw them clouds and I want to get my last apple out. I'll show you where I am. Uh, so we're at the view of the village of Sanuk, elevation 2,960 feet. I'm getting my apple out and uh, what keeps up, on. I ain't never gonna get off of here, but this is Setashi Bald. We are now at uh, 5,690 feet. Anyway, a quick story about uh, backpacking pictured rocks with a buddy of mine. You know, that was one of the few times I actually got to hike with somebody. It's hard to find people to backpack with. But uh, anyway, I noticed in his backpack, he had all these apples. And, uh, you know, I thought that was kind of foolish because that's a lot of weight to carry. And uh, he said, hey, Kirk, you carry your water your way and I'll carry my water my way. And if you think about it, that's a lot of water in them apples. So not a bad way to backpack and carry that. As you eat them, the backpack gets lighter and lighter. 2,200 feet. But I saw these and look at that. Let's get this. Uh, there we go. I mean, who, who owns that? Can you imagine the money? Just, just amazing. Anyway, here it is from a distance. There's another one that just looks unbelievable. Right, let's keep going. Let's see if I can get zoomed in on it. Can you, where's that? There it is, right there. Man, who, who has the money for something like that? So we're coming down a bit. This amazing. is funnel top, forty-two sixty-six. But I wanted to get the, I'm a cloud person too. <laughs> I guess you can tell I just love being out in this stuff. But uh, check out these, the whole cloud. It just, it just goes all the way around. I'm trying to take it nice and slow. Isn't that cool? You know, if it was just a sunlit day, God, I, what I would have given for this weather on the trip. I mean, you know, to camp in this is, is what you live for. I mean, that would have been an awesome. It's, you know, it was 60, 65, you know, and that's just perfect during the day. Probably gonna get down in the 50s tonight. Man, you talk about sleeping, you just sleep like a... So here we are at the Lone Bald boy. Overlook, elevation 5635. Got a little bit of cloud action there, but I thought, you know, the, the shot here that I just kind of, why I stopped again, I know, is look at that. There's no houses, no civilization, just miles and miles of forest. I mean, there are still places on this planet that we haven't destroyed, thank God. And uh, it's just, just beautiful. Look at the, the mountains just go back and back in there. I just, uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. 
I don't know what it'll look like since I'm a video idiot with the zoom on, but I'm looking at it, you know, while I'm, while I'm doing it. So, swinging around. All right, well, let's move on to the next spot. Do want to tell you a quick story about the uh, the mountains or the parkway up here. We used to drive up here and uh, we dare each other to drive by the moonlight along the parkway. How stupid can you be? But we were pretty stupid back then. And uh, we'd drive for miles and miles. Right, just by cool. the moonlight. thought I'd give you a view from the car. A lot of tunnels here, you know. I always love tunnels. So here we are coming in. That's a short one. It was one a while back and the lights, see the lights aren't coming on. They're supposed to be on auto. I can't see squat other than the opening up here. So I can just, there they go. Finally, they came on. That vein. Let's get a little bit of the, show you what I'm seeing along the way. Beautiful, huh? Not bad. See those rock formations on the side? Just all along the road. Of course, then you swing over. I can't really swing over and get the view to the right. there let me get it around this turn and uh on the parkway no look at this we got a scenic overlook coming up he's doing 30 miles an hour well, there he goes finally i don't believe it he's had about 16 overlooks to get out of my way and i'm not trying to speed or anything but i'm he's 15 miles an hour underneath the speed limit anyway thank god he finally pulled over you know i've been riding his bumper i mean if you come up here sometimes you just want to take it easy and do about 30 miles an hour and that's fine i do that when I've lived in Virginia, not Florida now, but, you know, and that's fine. But get out of people's way, you know. Just, there's all kinds of overlooks and places you just just pull over and let them go on by, and then get on back out. There's no sweat off your brow. And uh, anyway, I just just wanted to show you that. I just try not to get his license plate. I don't want to <laughs> post that up on YouTube or anything. But uh, so anyway, we're continuing on. I haven't seen any really great overlook. Man, a lot of people up here, a lot of people. You know, and this is during the week. I've seen some of these overlooks, look at that. Some of these overlooks just are packed. You know, usually I, I drive the parkway, I hardly see anybody at all. doesn't catch up to me, but I wanted to stop, get this, and then just kind of show you the view from here. It's a pretty good one crazy about this and it's once again the rocks you know me I'm a rock person man I right right here look at that it's kind of crazy as you're making that turn and then as we walk on around here look I hear his car up oh, here he comes damn it now I'm gonna be behind him again but I wanted to get this for you so let's take a look here got this and that beautiful so sometimes you gotta, gotta get, get some going. entertainment out of these things this woman in the mustang blew past me at about a million miles an hour and then she got up on that guy and made him pull over i saw a bike rider back there uh, man i tell you you gotta be buff to pedal up and down these hills i I'm, i admire her she's she, she looked tough man i <laughs> i got my bike but you know i need a little I could do this, of course, but I mean, you know, check it out when you go and tower up on the hill. It's kind of crazy. My uh, grandpa used to man one of those towers. I don't remember exactly why. <laughs> For observation, maybe uh, that was during the uh, Guess what? Cold War. Just got rained on again. <laughs> Driving on the parkway in the rains. That's okay. Let's go over here and take a look. That's probably the last video of the parkway. I got to dive down. I didn't realize I'm a long ways from Lynchburg, Virginia. 
So, and I can't drive to Parkway. I'm just too doggone tired. Yeah, I will get some more video on the way back. I just wanted to get one last shot here. Maybe one more. The clouds up here, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So, so right. <clears throat> here we are. We've run into the fog. I could have turned off one back, but just kind of wanted to, I was hoping for another o overlook, but uh, you know, this is, this is kind of what the parkway can be like. Um, you don't want to be up here in the fog, man. It's just, it's brutal. I've been, been doing it, you know, but I figured, you know, we've had everything, <laughs> everything in the whole universe thrown at us on this trip. It's got to be entertaining. I mean, I, I can't wait to watch everything. Uh, well, we're coming out of the fog, but you can see, man, there's just nothing to see. So, uh, you know, two two thoughts. I've got four or five sleeping bags, you know. I could have packed an extra sleeping bag. It was just, you know, we went through all that gear and checklists and everything else. And, uh, you know, I, I never even dreamed that the tent would leak. And, you know, common sense, you know, I wanted to do that test run and go out and camp in it, and preferably in some bad conditions. And then we would have known we had a problem. Um, but I mean, I, I didn't have to camp in it. You know, in Florida, there's nothing but rain uh, at this time of the year. And so I could have put that tent outside my house and just left it up and then checked it and seen how it did, you know, in a major storm. Because there was a bunch of them while I was working on, you know, all the gear. And, uh, and I had finished the tent a while back for what I thought it had finished. So that was a big mistake, and uh, if I had a, if I had an extra sleeping bag, we would have the option of pulling over and uh, camping one more night, you know, because I got five hours to Lynchburg. Well, it's going to be more than that now because I'm just cruising along here, and uh, you know, I, I I stayed on the parkway just a little too long. Now it looks like we've driven out of that, so that's good. But hey, we're coming up on another tunnel. Uh, this is a short one, but. Um, so that's probably it for me. I, I next turn off the parkway. I'm taking it, and uh, I, I don't think there'll be any more <laughs> any more videos unless I unless I see something really weird between here and Lynchburg, uh, or something really beautiful. And uh, we'll go man, with that. Oh man, goodness knows the road has turned into a river. I've been going through some water. I mean, you can see it. I I, I missed it just a second ago. But uh, anyway, hopefully this is me from calming down. I think I'm ready off to get off of this rodeo. Unfortunately, when I I had a chance, I thought, well, maybe a couple more miles. And I, probably not a good idea. <laughs> I've gone from fog to heavy rain to you name it. And I... Uh, I'm done, man. I'm done. I just got to get off of this rodeo. I mean, look at these trees. If you try to take a truck through here, man, you would just be getting hit. Holy moly. You know, we're just being this truck. We're just creeping along, you know, and uh, at least uh, it was raining and foggy, and uh, that really got slowed me down. So, all right. I just thought I could kind of show you what it's looking like here.